Hi everyone, Courtney here with this week's craft. You will need a parent for this, and I also suggest doing the craft outside. This week's craft is something out of this world. We will be making moon dough. But before we get started, you can participate in the family photo scavenger hunt for your chance to win a supper thanks to the church. Go to frcsuefalls.com for more information. Now let's get started with the craft. So you just need a couple supplies to make moon dough. The two key ingredients are a conditioner. You can use a cheap conditioner or whatever kind you have at home and cornstarch. And then you'll want a bowl to mix it in and something to mix it with. So I'm gonna use a wooden spoon, a measuring cup. And then if you would like, you can also use food dye to change the color of your moon dough. And most importantly, you will need a parent with you to help with this because it does get a little bit messy. For the moon dough, we're gonna use conditioner and cornstarch. For every amount of conditioner you use, you will put twice as much cornstarch. For my mixture, I'm going to do one cup of conditioner and then add slowly add two cups of cornstarch. When you add in the cornstarch, you will want to add it in slowly and stir in the cornstarch gradually. This is why you want a parent, because you might make a little bit of a mess. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of the cornstarch and slowly stir it in. Be careful, because it will have a little bit of a white powder when you're first stirring it. You wanna stir it so you don't see any more white chunks before you add more cornstarch. As you add more cornstarch in, it slowly becomes like Play-Doh. You wanna make sure there's no white chunks of cornstarch in it before you add more. You will have to slowly stir it, and once you think you're almost done, you can go ahead and use your hands to mix it up. You'll know you're done mixing it when it doesn't stick to your hands and it feels like Play-Doh. Once you have it all mixed, you can go ahead and play with it or add food coloring if you'd like to make it a different color. And then if you wanna save it, just make sure you store it in a Ziploc bag. I hope you had a blast making your moon dough. Stay healthy and I'll see you next week.